Grace and peace. This is Apostle Elliot. Uh, just wanted to take a moment to give a revelation uh, on a word that's used in the Bible often. Uh, and, you know, in that, uh, many times we, we don't pay attention to the details. Uh, like how one of my former bishops used to say, oftentimes we major in the minors and we minor in the majors. Uh, sometimes some of the most smallest words we don't put value in and we're, we're hung on to the big words. And so we miss the revelation of what's being implied or what's what's trying to be said through the text because something as simple as a word that we didn't give value to. So in that, I want to touch in this teaching the word new, um, especially from the New Testament perspective because uh, where it really gives a lot of weight is uh, when Paul talks in Thessalonians about a new heaven and a new earth. Oftentimes, when, when we think about new, our understanding from our Western world culture is that it's in association with, with something being uh, uh, just created without any flaws, any errors to it whatsoever. Um, however, I want to bring to your attention in the New Testament, we have to be very careful as to the word new that's used and understanding it in its correct context. Because technically there's two words in the Greek regarding new. One word is anos and the other word is kinos. Now, if I can just take a moment to articulate the difference between the two. Anos means to make something from nothing. Uh, as we can understand the Lord God being uh, the creator of all things, he can take nothing and make something come into existence. However, the second word is the Greek word kinos. Uh, and if I can put that in layman's terms, it means uh, cosmetic reconstruction. And I usually like using an illustration uh, for those that are listening to kind of grab what's the real meaning in kinos. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, your house, um, you have a, a, a leak in your roof. Well, the average person doesn't have their whole house demolitioned in order to build a new house just to fix the roof. What you normally do is do what we call cosmetic reconstruction, meaning you have the roof repaired so it can still uh, perform the function that it does for the house without having to do any kind of uh, demolition or repair to the rest of the house. So in that, when we have that understanding, the word kinos really means cosmetic reconstruction. Now, this can put into perspective uh, what Paul articulates in Thessalonians when he says a new heaven and a new earth. He doesn't use the word anos for new. He uses the word kinos. So in that, it's not that God is going to make a brand new heaven and a brand new earth. He's only going to do a cosmetic reconstruction or, or repair to what already exists. Uh, so, so in that, I just want to bring that to your attention in a teaching so that hopefully it will bless you. Amen, amen, and amen.